So I was trying to do some raids the other night and noticed I was a little low on Zalra scales. Yeah, pretty much bone dry. And then this happened. Um, off to a great start. Serpentine Visage. That's what, 20,000 Zalra scales right there. We've killed three tonight. Um, <laughs> And I realized that Zalra scales are very high at the moment from where they were just a few months ago. On screen right now is loot from 69kc that I did during the past couple of days. And as you can see, it is incredible. This is the Zalra scales price chart for the past month. And as you can see, it is just going completely up from 144 up to 216. And if we pa if we go over the past quarter, like Zalra scales were almost 100 GP each just back in June, right? And as you can see now, they're double that price. This is another item that we're going to be checking out today. The superior dragon bones you get from killing Vorkath and pretty much the same store with these from 13.5 almost to 20k. If we check the past quarter, they have went up a insane amount. They used to be less than 10k each and now they're 19k. So they've literally doubled in price as well. So the point that I'm making is take advantage right now while you can actually do these money making methods because who knows how long this will last. If Jagex is doing something about the botting problem, these could be viable money making methods forever, kind of like how they used to be where killing Zalra or Vorkath would be some pretty good money over time. But because there's so many bots doing these activities and just so many players in general just camping them all of the time, it's caused the prices to go down quite a bit so say Zara used to make 3 mil an hour maybe it's only 1.5 million GP per hour now so it kind of it defeats the purpose of camping this long term and I only really noticed this because I needed scales on my Iron Man so we're going to test both of the methods out today and see how much money we can make off just a trip. Not my best work, a two kill trip. Let's check out the profits though, because yeah, it's still obviously pretty damn good. 300k profit in two kills. Next trip, not as good, but the scales are consistent. But we basically just made about half a million GP in about 10 or 11 minutes. Next, we're going to be killing Vorkath just with some basically Void and Dragon Hunter Crossbow, trying that out here. So let's see how this goes. Now, personally, I think Vorkath is a lot easier to kill than Zalra because there's so much difference with Zalra and you can actually take a lot of damage. But if you're careful at Vorkath, it's not so bad and you can make bank here right now. Look at that first kill. Rune Longsword. Oh my god. So let's just quickly even... I can't even comprehend how much money this is just off of the first kill right here. And grapes as well. Plus there's another, what, 5k worth of drops on the ground right there. And 75k from that. So it looks like, like per kill maybe you make more at Zalra. But very easy like that was one one minute 47 second kill uh, i guess we'll finish up this inventory for anyone who has a dragon hunter crossbow like you just shred here it's actually extremely fun you're just consistently hitting like insanely high numbers and the kills will go very very quick was that even no almost a new pb yeah this is this is cool and all the drops just stay here as well which could be nice so yeah like i said we'll finish off this trip should have maybe brought some more prayer potions. We're going to leave a couple of the blue dehydes on the ground and some wrath talismans. But that was three kills. And let's check the loot. So we'll just dump it all in here and see how much we made from three kills of Vorkath. Which again, did not take very long at all. I would say in less than 10 minutes and 300k right there. So if you can kill Zara a lot quicker, Zara does seem to be kind of better right now. I'd have to test this maybe for an hour or whatever. And obviously unique drops and stuff do add in. But both of these creatures are consistent profit. Extremely good right now. 
And honestly, killing Zalra and Vorkath is pretty fun and chill bosses to do and you're always gonna make money the thing about these bosses that is so good is regardless of the prices they're always gonna be in demand to kill and that's why so many bots choose to do them because zalra scales are always going out of the game and most of the other things zalra drops uh continuously goes out of the game too like potions and runes bones and then like seeds and pure essence and just stuff like that right and also with vorkath the bones the hides the food everything is usually like a consumable and it will go out of the game in one way or another so yeah so the thing is right now um there's just so many bots i guess being taken out of the game and uh that means less of them are coming in so that's why all of the prices are going up so much right now so if you've ever wanted the zalra pet or the vorkath pet Honestly, right now may be a great time to just set like a couple weeks aside, camp the boss, and maybe grind out that pet that you've always wanted because you're going to make a lot of money doing so right now compared to what you would say even a month or two months ago. Almost double for both of the bosses, which is pretty insane. And they're also really good bosses to learn other like PVM or like uh, different like prayer switching and stuff like that. They're very good like entry level bosses to get you into doing bigger things in the future like raids and whatever. I've also noticed just a lot of my bank value going up quite a bit uh, in the past little while here. I had the wrong prayer on. Anyways, what I was trying to say is a lot of the items in my bank, like, that I've had for a very long time, like, even, like, raids, items, planks, herbs, it all seems to be going up in value right now, so it's not just these two bosses. I'm sure there's a ton of other bosses in the game that you could farm, or even scaling methods now might even be a lot more profitable. There is one that I'm going to be talking about at the end of the video, which is a little crazy, but, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool to see these bosses, uh being killed so much i know a lot of the people that i talk to right now have been saying to me you should be killing zalra you should be killing vorkath you should be doing god wars right now it's so profitable blah blah like there's just so many things right now that are profitable and i can't kind of can't wait to see if uh there is going to be like a statement or something coming out about uh bots being deleted from the game um People are always saying our bots good for the game because it makes things cheaper and there's always like two ways to look at it right. Yes it'll make items cheaper for you like or especially like skilling supplies or like things like Zalra scales and whatever right but then when you actually do land a big ticket drop or you do say want to camp a boss for a very long time you're going to be making a lot less money and it's going to seem anyways like your time isn't worth as much uh spent there you know what i mean so there's always like two ways to look at it and overall do you really want to play a game filled with a million different bots right it, it's just not really a fun game or you go up to chat to somebody and they don't even reply back to you it would be cool if they could finally fix the botting problem and i think that they were trying to somewhat do that with the jagex launcher and ending uh the old java client i don't know what it is about that and they're also updating their main client to make it more like rune light so maybe this will help prevent bots in the future that's a nice drop 666 skills and whatever that is 20 coconuts that one drop's got to be worth a good amount of money right there 228k now personally i don't believe this game will ever be completely bot free but uh the less bots in my opinion the better overall for the game's health and honestly just playing the game like i said it's just it's not fun when you're you're mining and then there's like 30 bots trying to mine the same ore as you especially at the lower levels it can be kind of frustrating right especially if you're like getting into the game for the first time trying to meet some people and you talk to them and they're just doing the exact same action over and over and over again and then you work for something and all of the money that you've made is devalued because there's just a million bots doing this activity and it just makes your time not really worth it as much i honestly was dreading coming back to zalra because i knew i had to get scales but to be honest i'm not the best at zalra but this has been a little like a lot of fun honestly like kind of kind of getting used to the rotations again just winging it taking some new gear that i've gotten throughout the years this is the first time i ever brought the bow fat zalra and it just shreds to be honest i really like it. i'm not even using crystal and uh it's still doing wonders on the boss see what we get let's see what we get pure essence wow and some uh, mahogany logs 
So this is an honorable mention, uh, rune crafting, blood runes. I've been doing this for a little while now, slowly going for 99 rune crafting on the alt account. And blood runes right now are trading at 227 GP. Taking a look at the last quarter of the blood rune, you know, they did have a little bit of a high here in July, but for most of it, it's been like 200 GP. And this is where you could sell them to the guy in the desert for 200 GP. So they kind of were just staying at this price for a very long time, but they're slowly going back up again. So I don't know. Could be another thing. Maybe more bots being banned. Don't know. Just a, a theory. So right now on screen, I'm going to be throwing up one hour of Vorkath, a little bit over an hour, an hour and maybe 15 minutes, and about three hours of Zalra, three and a half hours of Zalra, whatever it is, up on screen. You guys can see we're making a decent amount of cash. Anyways, take advantage of these methods while you still can before people uh, start botting and it up again or whatever it is. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya later.